Okay. Okay, Mary, why did you agree to this interview? I agreed to this interview because it's only in the last few years that I've ever admitted to anyone outside of my family the problems I had with learning to read and having people understand my writing. Now, start at the beginning from when you were a child and your first experiences and your struggle with reading. Well, I went to Henry Bonnet in the uh, second grade. I had gone to a, a little elementary school in our town for first grade, and I wasn't doing well. So my father transferred me to Henry Bonnet. And uh, there were, it was a very small class, like 14 to 15 people, lots of wonderful things going on. And I was a very obedient and extremely introverted shy child. So when people came by and would turn my book the other way, I would just let it go until they got out of sight because that was the only way I could read with any ability. So when you say they were turning your book the other way, they the, were turning your book in what like, people think is the traditional, conventional yes. way of reading. Yeah. So you did better... Upside down. Upside down. And we did only cursive writing. Okay. That's how, in those years, mm -hmm. you learn cursive first. <clears throat> and I could only write cursive uh, inverted. But my problem was when we had to write on the blackboard, that was like impossible because I was trying to convert it naturally. So instead of, you usually see children will write, you know, will go up a line or die on, well, even within my words, mm -hmm. it was going in, you know, all the snares okay. and so forth. And, I mean, I felt that. It was nothing compared to what you might see, you know, uh, overtly because everybody was nice. But I felt terrible. And I was the oldest of four children. And everybody was what I consider smart. And, <clears throat> when we, and it still touches me today. You can probably hear it in my voice. So when the report cards come out, my parents would say, I'm very proud of all our children. They all got good report. And I, here I am with D's. So now, let, let's go back, because you said your dad transferred you to, transferred you to Henry Bonner. Yes. Okay. Um, do you remember what year that was, that you were at Bonner? Well, it was probably around 1944, because I was born in 37. Okay. And why, what affiliation did your dad have with the My father people? taught uh, history and political science at Rhode Island College. And uh, I always felt so embarrassed for him, although he, you know, he had nothing to do with that school. But. And so I had an aunt who was <clears throat> a French teacher in Providence, and she was also left-handed, so everybody thought it was that, and so she worked with me, you know, on my handwriting and so forth, but uh, I'll just let that go. But it was just very, um, very, um, I mean, my other children, my other siblings didn't have this trouble. You know, it was just awful. Should I take that off the hook so that it won't interfere with Well, you? we could. Why don't we stop just...